Well, hello there, everybody. Overkill here with part... Uh... <laughs> Honestly, I don't really know what part it is. I think it's part 15? Yes, indeed it is. Uh, welcome back to part 15 of the Total War Attila Langobards campaign. Last episode, you've seen we um, are taking more Gallic lands. We also fought the Vandals, which are now uh, pretty much destroyed. They have an army of archers, basically. Um, our king leveled up. That's interesting. I didn't notice that. Uh, let's see. What does he want? Or need, I should say. We'll go for that. And we'll go for that. Very good. Oh, we can't take him off Force March. We can't take them off either. Yeah, in the last episode I was a little concerned by these, uh, how many Romans are down there. That's kind of scary. Uh, I'm pretty sure Yabor just took this town. Yeah, it's not even, I haven't even looked at fixing anything, or converting anything, rather. Uh, I will do that. And, oh, apparently I can only destroy this. Do I want to, though? Not really. So I'm not going to. <laughs> let's see what the rest of the... Let's see what the next turn holds in store for us. So, because we're a military ally with them, that means that's another province under our control, and that's one step closer to, um... winning the campaign. Oh, I didn't get to see what the Alamans are doing. They moved too fast. Wonder if the Sassanids and the Romans have went to war yet. That'll be interesting when it happens, if it hasn't already. Okay, don't kind of concerned about where those uh, where those Romans went probably gone to fight someone else but still concerned that I don't know where they are now because they could pop up at any minute oh whatever comes at us oh yeah no I'm taking all your shit sorry mate I need to expand somehow. Oh. Oh, of course. Well, screw it. We'll just go for the large bribe. Yabor, stop being an asshole. Ready for order. That's right, I called you an ass. What are you going to do about it? Uh, we'll do that. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Uh, what do we need to do to win? Survive until 425, yep. Control 30 settlements, either through direct ownership or military allies. We have 19, we're pretty close to that. Uh, Raisha at Noricum. Okay, yeah, that's because that's desolate. Uh, we'll do that eventually. We'll fix that. Well, we kind of have we have to to win. Uh, Looter sack, yep. Research 10, yep. Uh, and the following income, okay, we have to do that. And we're 11 away from 60 units, so pretty good. They have any army here? Okay. Uh, since, since they're taking, I was gonna raid, but, um, it's winter, so they'll take, attri they'll take attrition if I do. Um, anything that really needs looking at? No. Doesn't appear so. We'll take them off Force March. Oh, of course, they've already. The Alamans have went for Ajax. Okay. Well, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll head down south. 
What's the public order like if I take these guys out? Hey, it's still positive. Maybe that's what we'll do. Um, I assume I'm going to be able to go through Alaman's land without them getting pissed. Yes. But at the same time, if the Roman armies are still here... Oh, well, never mind. But I almost want to because what if that's what they're doing? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. No, we'll stay. We'll wait. Who gained that? Oh, great. That'll make him super happy. Gerhard can become a warlord. Interesting. That doesn't help. Well, actually, hmm. It doesn't really matter who's there because... Yeah. Well, who do I want to have as my high judge? Because that's the important thing. It has to be a general because integrity plus five for the commanded force. And our king, kings can't become it, which sucks. Um, our heir. Interesting. Yabor, you need to find a wife. Look for a wife. You look for a wife too. Ulrich also needs a wife, but he's been having some trouble with that. We'll try again. Okay. So we'll get another turn out of the way. Hopefully they can find somebody. Especially my king, because he, he needs to uh, have real sons. are still there just raiding, being assholes. Not surprising. Oh, my spy's there. Okay, I'll have to use him next turn. Next turn, I'll probably start raiding the Gauls. Just to get some money and also get our, um, get our, uh, victory conditions out of the way. Okay. A worthy bride. Oh, jeez. Well, I mean, oops, might as well. Lutehard found somebody, and she's positive. That's good. And Ulrich, of course, can't. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just, you're going to be lonely for the rest of your life because you're making me lose pretty much. Excellent. Excellent. Can we raid now? Sure can. <laughs> Making like no money off it, but oh well. So where was my spy? Here? Yeah. Good. 
Let's go spy out the Roman lands and see if we can see anything. Okay. Um. There seems to be nothing that we can really build. Oh, public orders going down. I don't have the money to switch it. Yeah. Oh, Wolfgang leveled up. He's a governor. We'll do that. And we'll do that. What does he, what are Yabor's skills? Okay, we have leveled up rating. Or looting, raiding, whatever. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll just get into the next turn. And see what happens. Well, the Vandals are building their army again. Wonderful. What are they doing? Oh, they better not be going to Vienna. I'll have to send one of my armies up there. Like, right away. I wonder what the Huns are up to. We haven't I haven't heard anything about them yet. No doubt, raising stuff. No doubt. As soon as we get into the next turn, we'll see what has happened in terms of, um, our faction, because we are very out of, we have like no power, which sucks a lot. I wasn't paying very good attention to my family early in the campaign. It's starting to, yeah, it's starting to bite me in the ass. Heinrich, you bastard. Heinrich. You're a governor. You're not even that good of a governor. Maybe I should have you killed. Oh, I can't because I don't have enough goddamn influence. Crap. Hmm. I need to see if I can get my king married. I literally need to check to see if anybody has a wife or a, like a woman. You honor us. There's food enough for nope. two armies awaiting us when we have angles. Do you? Greetings to nope. you. I trust Burgundians you. Do you. Oh, whoops. Burgundians do you. Nope. You are welcome. Caledonians do you. Greetings, nope. friend. I'm definitely not asking them. Franks, to you. Greetings, friend. You can't ask all because we're at war. No, does no one have friend. a girl? Come then, speak. Like really? How is this possible? Um. Sit, friend. Let us talk. Oh, let whoops, us that's not what I wanted one. to do. Like how? How is this a thing? How are there how is there Welcome, no one to marry? Oh, we're at war with them. Ostrogoths. Oh I yes. You, speaker. I 
listen because your people are known to have honor. Please. Give me woman. I'll pay you. Are you serious? Oh, come on. You must you must not want her that bad. Come on. Holy crap. I wouldn't spend this much money if it wasn't important. Will you give me her for that much? Holy crap. You guys are fucked. Well, let's see if they'll give me the other one. She's not as good, but... Hmm. Holy crap. Well, do you want... Can we be friends, at least? Oh my lord. These guys are such assholes. What the hell? Let's say minus 70, minus 20. Well, sorry, I'm more powerful than you. Goodness. I just want your woman. Well, does anybody else have a woman who's not an asshole? Picks don't like us, so we're probably not going to get one. Oh. My ancestors and people expect Loyalty minus one. Ooh. Honesty. And he's not going to be governing, so... Oh! Yes! Thank you! Ooh, that's great. Oh, he's gone over here now. Okay. Excellent. That'll give him lots of influence every turn. And she can do stuff for me. Holy crap. Secure the loyalty of Heinrich for me, please. Would you be a deer and do that? Thank you. Whoa. That's a 16 unit army right there. Interesting. Okay, let's check the Roman lands and see what they're up to. Ooh. They have a stack. Interesting. Oh, they have another stack. Uh oh. Well then. That's interesting. Oh, they left Ajax. Mm. What kind of garrison does it have? A not so great one. Hoo 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 hoo. Oh, there's no way to get to it without being on a boat though so how did the Alamans get on it <laughs> on the world how they managed to get here without being without attacking it from the sea hmm interesting I kind of want to take it Hmm. Oh well, whatever. Uh, we gotta focus on this because that's a it's a sizable Roman army right there. Ready for battle. Um, we're not really making that much money from them, so. What would it be like if I attacked them? Really bad? Yeah, really bad. Wow.
Okay. Is that a full army that he has? No, it's not. Okay, so we have five spearmen, four of those. Okay. What else can we get? <coughs> oh yeah, we don't have cavalry. I'll definitely get a couple of those. Chances still aren't very high. Well, you know what? Perhaps I will keep them besieged and see what they do. Okay, yes, I was gonna send someone back to Vienna to see if the Roman because I see I thought I seen no the Vandals I thought I seen the Vandals up there. I'll just keep uh, keep them in there. Okay. Oh, I have money. Can I uh, change this now? No, it's still too much. Okay. Well. Oh, Heinrich needs to level up. He has two in he has two loyalty Jesus. Oh, if he betrays me I'm gonna be really pissed. Oh, there they are. They're up in the woods doing something. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're going after the... I keep forgetting which um, which faction's which for these Vikings. Oh my. The Geats or the Jutes, whatever they are. Holy crap, the Romans have so much stuff in Spain. Wow. I'll see if I can mess around with them a bit with my spy. Depending on how expensive it is, of course. And I wonder if the Gauls are going to attack me. Or counter-attack me, I should say. Hmm. Well, we'll know in a second. Because it's their turn coming up right now. They are. Okay. That's a lot of units. But, um... I think we can handle them. Well... See you guys on the campaign map, or um, on the battle map. Alright, so welcome back everybody. It seems the enemy has chosen a foggy, um, foggy weather situation. Which isn't exactly good for us. But, oh well. We'll manage. Oh, what weird terrain. So apparently my units can't deploy because of these fences. Well, we'll just deal with that. <laughs> okay. We'll have these guys in the back. We'll have Yabor in the back. Our onagers right there, and our archers behind the main line, with um, what do we want? Let's just go with flaming shot. Then we'll have one unit of cav up there, and can they really be hidden there? I didn't think so. Unit's too big. And we'll have another unit. Where? Where are we going to put this other unit? Oh, well, we'll just keep them up there with them. Oh. There we go. Okay, that should be everything. Oh, well, there's the enemy. I'm, uh, I'm going to try... Uh, not using flaming shot and see if that works at all. Well, I don't really want to fire at their archers. 
Um, where's the range of this thing? Oh, geez. They're very far away. The enemy has been spotted. Where are the enemy coming from? Are they all coming from the front? I would imagine. If they don't, that'd be very bad and annoying. They should be, though. Okay. That is a short man right there. Close. They're close to coming within our range. Good. Hmm. I don't know what I want to use. I'll fire one volley with standard rounds and see what that does because someone I read somewhere that someone said it's better but I'm not sure like against a block apparently it's better but I'm not sure you'd almost think explosive would be better against the block considering that's pretty much what it's for but whatever Maybe it's more accurate too if it's not an explosive round or a flaming round, whatever. Hmm, I don't know. I know against these archers it's not going to do anything. Hmm. Let's move them up further just so they can start firing. I'm getting some massive frame drop here. almost within range excellent excellent let's just see what happens to these archers when it, they get shot at oh there's an enemy unit Why are they turning sideways? Fire on them. Let's see. Let's see what kind of damage this does. Well, it killed a few guys. Oh, it killed a lot of the archers, actually. Wow. Doing pretty good. Okay, but that's not actually what I want to shoot at, so. Start firing at them. Does this do any real damage? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna put him back on. Uh, I'm gonna put him on flaming. Tell him to stop, and they'll just choose whoever they want to shoot at.
Okay, it seems like they're perfectly content with going straight from a battle line. Scout equities. See if I can get my young wolves to catch him. I took the charge away from them, or a good charge anyway. So they'll start dying very quickly. And I'm going to charge them with my other young wolves just because they're... I'll take the charge away from them as well. There we go. Okay, don't don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break formation. Okay. Get everybody in. They get in. Put pop their frenzy. Your frenzy too. Oh, they've just been firing at the archers. Oh, shoot there. That's a good target right there. Oh! What a, what attacked them? Was it Cav? Oh, no. Whoops. Well, it seems like we wrapped up uh, this first army pretty well. Oh, it was a cab unit. Okay. Took it. They hurt that unit pretty bad. These guys didn't take any casualties fighting those cataphracts. That was pretty. That's interesting. Oh, their morale is going to be hit pretty hard. Okay. our cav units up here. They're gonna start breaking. Our <laughs> our spearmen haven't taken like any casualties. Excellent. Uh, that's a lot of archers. Holy crap. Oh! You guys are too far out. Get behind the battle line. Whew. How many men have we lost? Just over a hundred. They've lost seven hundred. So if we can keep a ratio of one to seven, that'd be pretty good. I'd like that. Definitely wouldn't mind that. Uh Onager. Yeah, you know what? Keep firing there. That's a good spot. <laughs> so many archers, holy crap. Let's see what kind of damage that does. Not bad. Oh yeah, they can't get through my spears. They're like doing like no damage to them whatsoever. And we've already taken away all their cavalry. Which is very good for us. Oh, I gotta support, I'll support these spears with these guys. These guys are already in the fight. Well, it seems like these guys are interested in fighting. Oh, those poor onagers left all the way back there. They won't even see the fight. How many kills are our spearmen getting? Eh, they're not really getting that many. But uh, they're not dying either, so works pretty good. Oh! Oh, that's a general. It's one of the generals. Interesting. If he gets tied in combat, I'll definitely uh, charge him. Okay, I need 
need you to get there quickly. And just charge in. I need you to charge over there. Oh, the Palatina guards are locked in combat. So let's give them a good rear charge. See what happens. Yep, there you go. Right into him. Sorry about the frame rate. Um, this is a really big battle, so we get good good kills. Uh, not not a lot, but okay. Get out of there. Pop frenzy on them. Okay, we managed to not lose any of our cav. That's good. Oh, people are starting to waver. Very good. Our cav will just mess around, go go down there it's pulling some of their infantry away from the battle so that's good uh, well let's just get these guys in the fight this general is gonna run away eventually that general wants to stick with the archers apparently They start firing at the uh, Palatina guards. Get plus 50 melee damage. Just keep throwing. Just keep throwing. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle. Okay. Run away. Run away. Now that he's distracted, I'll charge these guys. Charge down the hill, the, that axe band. Or, yeah, the Germanic war band, rather. Oh, I don't want my archers in melee. Don't want the archers in melee. Run away. Run back. Look at the battle. The, the battle is pushed beyond my actual spear line, so I'll adjust to that. looking pretty good how many have we lost 500 they've lost almost 2,000 not bad not bad at all the general is exhausted oh get away get away get away get away Oh, the cab got caught by spearmen. Run. Run away. Oh, we just caused a massive rout. Excellent. That's what I like to see. They're probably, most of them are going to come back, but. Charge those Legio Commando Tenseis. They'll break. Or they should. Or, you know, that charge can make them confident. Makes sense. Makes a whole load of sense. I just need to charge after them. 
Wow, they destroyed my cavalry. What the hell? Oh, no, that's not what I want. We're doing pretty good. Sorry if I wasn't just talking. If, if I wasn't talking for a very long time just then, I was kind of focusing. I'm sorry. I didn't even realize. Okay, we got this. We beat him. Whew. Rough. That was a rough battle. But we did it. Oh, good. Well, it's definitely the end of them now. I cannot let those units get away. <laughs> uh, by the end of it. Got a nice few kills. Excellent. Oh, these guys are all that's left. Let's commit a 10 city spears. Oh yeah, archers, you can stop firing now. And we win! Whew. Well, according to my my watch, or my stopwatch, we're at 40 minutes. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time in part 16. Goodbye. <laughs>